Hello again, welcome back to Football Spy Online. And that caca story just refuses to go away. The Suns say that 500 grand a week uh, was just the first offer and that the deal isn't dead yet. Our own Daily Mirror says that City are trying to charm Kaka's dad in persuading him to go to Eastlands. And the stars say, never mind Mark Hughes, if Kaka wants his own manager in order to come, we'll give him one. So it looks like the AC Milan boss Carlo Ancelotti's on his way here. Quite what Hughes thinks about that one, I don't know. But as I said yesterday, uh, if Kaka comes, he will only be coming for the money. City are bigger than that. There are, two, there are players that I think will move City on to the next level and put them in a position to accommodate the likes of Kaka. But like the, the Wigan boss, Dave Whelan, says, an offer like that tears the heart and soul out of football. Lots of you having your say on this. Tune in to Football Spy Extra in a couple of hours. I'll be responding to your messages. Now, some news in brief for you. West Ham have had another round of bids for, uh, from Desperate City for Bellamy and Parker. Uh, Wigan say Emil Heskey will stay put until the end of the season. Liverpool defender Dan Agger's agent has begun contract talks with AC Milan. The Reds apparently too cheap to pay the Dane what he believes he's worth. Hull are in talks with Espanyol to sign right back Steve Finnan, say the mouse. Spurs also like him. Uh, Newcastle's Charles and Zogbias beg Leon to sign him, saying every season at St James's Park, the side is getting worse and worse. Blackburn boss Sam Allardyce is going to move for the Austrian scoring sensation Mark Yanko to replace Santa Cruz. Yanko plays for Red Bull Salzburg, and listen to this, scored 34 goals this season, including five hat-tricks. And Bolton are waiting to hear back from Fulham after bidding £5 million for Jimmy Bullard. More papers for you and you Arsenal fans have got a new signing. Well, actually, it's an old one, but Eduardo's back. He's hit a hat-trick in the reserves against the first team and seems in good nick. Arsenal fans, does that mean you don't need another striker? The Express say that Spurs have bid £14 million for the Sunderland striker Ken Wynne jones after being put off by Adriano's wage demands at Inter Milan. I'm not really sure whether Jones would be a good signing for Spurs. Doesn't score that many for Sunderland. New Spurs fans tell me, would you fancy him? The Sun said that Harry has also moved in for the Wigan midfielder Wilson Palacios for around the same money. He's been described as a young Paul Ince in terms of tackling ability. Whatever happens, Spurs will come out of the transfer window a very different side to the one they went into it with. Football Spy Extras up in a couple of hours where there continues to be some good old healthy debate about Desperate City. Uh, you know all the relevant uh, outlets you can post your messages on. And also in the Football Spy office waiting to update you on any breaking news. And I'm off in the meantime to get some dating tips from that man with the red hair. I'll see you shortly.